Om Namah Shivaya. Today in value addiction class, we will know about the law of karma, its cause and effect and the doctrine of reincarnation or rebirth. No action, small or great, good or bad, can be without its effect. This is the law of karma. Karma is not fate. Fate implies the helplessness of man to influence his destiny. Karma makes man the creator of his own destiny. As you saw, so you reap. Each person receives the result of his actions, whether good or bad. Yes, the term karma means both work and its result, manifest or unmanifest. The doctrine has nothing to do with fatalism or inactivity. Rightly understood, it means that each act done must bear its fruit, good or bad according to its nature. Karma has its objective result and also its reaction on the mind of the doer. So our destiny lies in our own hands and we can mold it as we will. Let us therefore diligently set to work and strive with patience, perseverance and determination to uproot all the imperfections which now seem to be a part of our nature and which cause all our sufferings. By right thought and right action, we can remove every fetter that binds us and make our lives a constant blessing both to ourselves and to our fellow men. Now moving to the doctrine of reincarnation or rebirth. Death is not the end of life. It is only a logical resting point until the next life. The body made up of five elements experiences death. But there is no death for the Atma, the indwelling essence of the Supreme within each one of us. These Atma or soul draws the life impressions and depart assuming another body in time. By the law of karma, each and every soul has to experience the fruits of bad or good actions performed in a former life. Sometimes we wonder why a terrible fate befalls a person who we know to be good. We are not able to explain this disparity without the logic of karma. Similarly, only the law of karma and the doctrine of rebirth can logically explain the varied circumstances and abilities of different people like wealth, talent, brilliance, mental and physical handicaps and so on. The cause for a disparity at birth must have preceded birth and indicates the fact of rebirth or reincarnation. The ultimate goal of each individual soul is to attain perfection. Each soul experiences numerous births and deaths before achieving this goal. Therefore, let each one of us Live his life consciously and cheerfully. Let us never give way to despair or look upon this life as a burden. Let us work with perseverance and undepressed heart until we realize that for our true self there is no death. But that this life of ours is a part of the infinite, indestructible and all-pervading life. Om Namah Shiva.